now i am going to show you some validations you saw that in the case of name email and message we just use the validation that is required but now i am going to add some more things here for example the email validation in the contact form what we did i am going to open it in my browser and here we use the email validation right if i click on submit you see that the email field is required but if i give something like that this one and then click on submit you see that there is no error but is this a email no this is actually not an email the required is we bypass because i give something here but that is not email so in order to do that here i am going to add another validation that is you can just use this symbol pipe symbol vertical and then i can add another one that is email just put the email you cannot write any other text here just you have to write email now what is what i will do i am going to click on submit you see that another thing comes here that is the email field must be a valid email address that means this is not a valid so you must have to give a valid email address and then click on submit and then it will work so this is very easy you have uh, seen how i have done that this now i will work with another one for example this is a person name if you want you can make this validation uh, as for example i am going to call here a string i am going to make a length in this string for example the minimum number of character will be 3 and the maximum number of character will be for example uh, 30 okay so uh, just uh, imagine that i uh, want to make a person's name uh, must be between 3 to 30 character now what i will do in the name it is required okay but if i give a person name like this if i click on submit it is telling you that the name field must be at least three characters so it automatically show you if i give here five then if i click on submit you will see that the name field must be at least five characters now if i give more than 30 what will be happen more than 30 click on submit it is showing that the name field must not be greater than 30 characters if you give something that is okay then click on submit there is no error now so in this way you can just define a field as a string and give it a range i hope you have understood now i am going to create here another field for example here it was name email phone i am going to add a date of birth okay i am going to work with the date so date of birth or a simple date i give here like this so here i am going to uh, give the field uh, field name date and here is date if i come here for example i am going to add it another one that is date date is record okay so here date and the error message i am going to copy like other items here after this here and it will be date here message is okay here will be message here will be date and here i am going to do another thing that is in this case the class name i am going to copy from here and here i am going to edit here it will be date okay now i am going to refresh in the case of date just see the date now click on submit you see the date field is required okay that's good but i want to apply here another one that is it will be in the date format now if i give here something for example this one submit it is telling you that the date field must be a valid date this date is not valid if you put something like that this is also not valid invalid date if i give here that like today is 23 uh, 12 03 2023 submit it is okay 
that means when you will give a date format like this or like this 12 12 submit you see that this is a valid date so only if you give a valid date it will work if you give like this only here the date field must be valid date so you must have to give a valid date in case of here in order to work so in this way you can use the date validation so you see that this is a string validation this is email validation and this is date validation i can uh, use another one here that is for example numeric validation for example i want that the phone number you see that there are the phone number right or here i can give here another one that is is so i just copy and paste it this is is and here i am going to give is and here also is here also is and here it will be is if i give here what will be happened here here i am going to use the is here so this is is okay if i refresh and then if i click on submit you see that the is field required if you give something in string it will see there is no problem it will show you there is no problem but i will just use the numeric here so numeric if you use the numeric here what will be happened if i now click on submit it will it will tell you that the s field must be numeric if you give a numeric value submit the error is gone but you cannot give here a, any string right numeric it is okay so i hope you have understood what i have shown you in this lecture